you love. So, do an after the day for you guys. First, I'll do my eyes. Um, I know it's a little, everything's kind of a little faded right now because I just came back from school. It's, so, it's like 3 o'clock right now, and I did this at like 7 in the morning, 6.30. No, I got up at 6.30, and I went to school. Well, I don't know. Just like, it's a, it's a long day, okay? Yeah. So, I'll tell you my eyes. I did Urban Piquet's Animal Palette. And basically, I use this because I've been kind of neglecting it. And you know, I think a lot of you guys can understand it. Is that when you start like building up your makeup collection, it's like you get all this new products and you're like, you have no idea how to use up all of it. So, you know, a lot of stuff like this kind of goes in the back of it. Of your um, makeup collection. And also what I found was I. This is one of like the first things I bought. Like when I really start collecting. Like you know how you always have makeup when you're younger. Or like you just use like random stuff. But like when you really start collecting. It's like yeah I'm collecting now. I'm getting lots of makeup. I'm really into it. Then like. This is one of like the stuff that I really got. So I've had this for quite a while now. Shh. Um, yeah so then I use it a lot. But then I got like new Urban Decay palettes. And like they replace this one and even though they have all the same shadows it's like the other ones are bigger and cooler and more designs and even though you think you'd use this one because like more smaller compact and it's very good for traveling and stuff just you kind of neglect it but yeah i kind of wanted to go back to it and you know the 10 basic shadows and i'll show you the colors i use it's my inspiration for spring because today is a beautiful spring day so i wanted to inspiration get the inspiration around me so i used sin all of the lid. Then I use Shattered. And I know Shattered seems like a real like blue color, but it actually comes out more like a light, like silverly, silvery, silver blue. So it's kind of like, it's more like an icy shimmer on your lid. So it's not really that blue. And with the scent underneath it, it just kind of gives it like more of like a pop of just like a light silver blue sheen kind of so it's really not that pigmented like this looks a lot more blue than it comes on the lid like as you can see this kind of thing it's a lot more silver and a lot more sheer it takes a lot to like build it up and then just to make it different I put a little bit of last call into the crease just to give it a little bit more definition and smoky and then I put grifter like kind of on top of it just like to put a little bit of um last call into the crease and then I put like the grifter as like the kind of like the purple you can kind of see on the if you like if I showed you really close you kind of see like the glitter from the from the um grifter which is like the light purple color like up here because it kind of just like faded out so I kind of like that look it's, it's a very cool gradient so yeah that's this um this mascara um I'll just show you my favorite lip gloss right now this one it's um Devastly stylish. I love this lip gloss. Just fun to wear and very easy. So yeah. Okay, um, I'll show you my jewelry. I'm wearing this really pretty ring I got from Toledo, Spain. It's beautiful. It has like a little flower on it. And I really, really like it. Um, I have some bracelets. This is obviously from Madrid. Um, it kind of, and these bracelets kind of, I like the bracelets you make during the summertime. You know, like all those like lanyard stuff you make during the summer? Well this kind of reminds me of it. So it's giving me the little anticipation for summer because I got junioritis which is not good at all. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not get into that. Um, and then I also got th this bracelet from um, Barcelona and it's just I like the colors because it, it's kind of like, like turquoise colors like a light nice sky blue. I love the beads. It's just really fun and easy to wear. And it was only one euro, which is really good. And then um, I got, well, I didn't get it, but my friend got this for me from Italy because she went to Italy. And she got me, like, this, like, faux leather bracelet because I don't like wearing anything that hurts animals. So everything I wear usually is faux leather or, or like, anything like that. Like, try not to hurt animals as much as possible. Of course... Not everything is like that. Like, I have Uggs, which, you know, hurt animals. And I'm not going to buy any more Uggs. So, and what I find is, if you have that stuff already in your closet, then you can wear it fine. I'm not going to throw it out because that's money going down the drain. But, you just should be aware of what you have and not buy those same products anymore. And, like, look for new outlooks so you can get the, a similar style, but, like, not hurting as much animals because it's not fair. So, that's what I believe. Like, I love their jacket, but... 
am I going to throw it out? No, because I love that jacket. It cost me a heck of a lot of money. So I'm going to keep it, but just not buy another one, obviously. Okay, sorry. Going on a tangent here. Um, I have my usual Tiffany necklace that I wear. I have, like, a lot of different necklaces. I don't know why I just gravitate towards this. I really kind of want to layer them. It looks cooler that way, so. Mm. I'll see what happens. Um, also have these kind of cool earrings. They're, like, little feather earrings. They're really in style right now, the feather like feathers and everything. It's very like bohemian 1970s esque thing going on, so I like it. I feel very in trend. And then I also have just like this is kind of more like again like the bohemian like curls. It's kind of messy and wavy, but cute at the same time, you know. Gotta look cute. Then I have this um well I kinda of made it off the shoulder because I got it in like a large so it's quite big on me, so it doesn't fit me on the shoulders. It kind of, like, falls off, so I kind of had to put it on the shoulders, even though it's supposed to be like this. But it just falls off of me, so that's why. Um, I don't know why. I just, I like shirts really big on me. Just, I didn't have time to try this on, so it's like, oh, okay, big shirt. Um, and I, I usually get, like, my big shirts to be a medium, but this is all they had, so it's like, whatever. Yeah. Um, and this is also from Spain. BT Doves. So, yeah. And if you're wondering, it's from the company Pull and Bear. If you ever want to go to Spain. Or Europe. Oh, they sell in Europe, Mexico, UK, and Italy. Oh, no. Or is that just the size chart? That might be the size chart. Ooh. Brain fart. Okay. Ignore that. Ignore that. Delete. Okay, so yeah, here's a shirt. It's just a nice striped sailor kind of thing. I, and the sleeves are a little bit different stripes. Kind of like that. And then they have like these like pocket things. I love my pocket squares, except being, except the pockets that are usually like right here, they're the pockets down below. So you kind of like, almost like a jumper thing going on. So it's cute. Then I just got some American Eagle jeggings going on. And then what shoes did I wear? I wore some blue kids to match my blue look today. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm wearing, and I hope you like it. Adios, amigos. Ciao for now. I'm going to eat you up.